Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel and this video is to address the application for the Nava Scholarship, Stefan Banak. As we all know that the Nava Ignacy Vukasevich Scholarship is now transformed into the Stefan Banak Scholarship and the reason why I'm making this video is because I received the mail and because I'm busy with like class activities and all I've not been really able to reply to the person in full details so I decided to make this video so that it will be useful for everyone who also might benefit from this person's question okay as we all know that the Nava scholarship is for the Polish government if you don't know now you should know it for the Polish government scholarship which is issued to the nationals of specific countries of which we have some countries in Africa we have some countries which are non-Europeans but like at the northern hemisphere you understand basically you have to check the call for proposal for you to be able to know if your national is part of the scholarship and the thing is that the deadline is 31st of March so if you intend to apply for the scholarship you should take it seriously and apply before the 31st of March that is this month and also another thing we should not take note of is that even though you graduated from like 2020 upwards then you are eligible to apply for the scholarship well if you graduated below 2020 then it is not advisable for you to apply because you are not eligible but well, I don't know if you can apply based on trust you know <coughs> so now I'm going to answer this person's question the first one is do I need to apply to the university and also to the scholarship or just the scholarship alone? Okay, this is very important. The thing is that the scholarship is different from the university application like admission into the program. And also the scholarship is for master's study, especially for STEM related courses that is science, technology, engineering, you know all those related courses like that agriculture let's say agricultural economics and agricultural courses which are like core courses can also have anything related to science can apply except for medicine but the thing is that we also have medical biotech for those who understand that particular field so if you intend applying so now the thing is that the scholarship is different from the application into the university and the good thing now is that the scholarship application is now earlier than before so now if you get the scholarship you know that you are supposed to apply for admission later on so it is different applying for scholarship is different you are using the portal I'm, I'm going to make a screen recording of how to navigate through the portal because some people are saying they can't find the application form and all so I'll make a short video, a screen recording of that on how to navigate through it. So it is different. Scholarship is different from admission into university. When you apply for scholarship, then you also need to look for university which you want to apply for. And don't worry, even if you don't get admission into the course which you put in your scholarship, it makes no difference. You can actually change your course of study along the line. You understand? But it must be STEM related, you understand? Another thing now, which the person asks, is concerning the recommendation letter. Would the recommendation letter be for my HOD, department, the fine, or what do you advise? So now, the recommendation letter, as you know, is like 40% of like grading and all like that. It is very important. So the thing is that I did some findings based on the recent applicant, the recent recipient and these were the result of my findings the first one which i observed is that number one you have to make use of a reputable institution so for example if you are dealing with like maybe food science and nutrition 
if for example you've done your internship in Nestle, let's say in Bonfita, like Cabri, and you know someone there who could provide recommendation later for you, I'm also going to put like a text which shows what the recommendation letter might entail. If not all, it should entail a few points from there. So make sure the company which you are using is reputable. Then you can use NGO and you can also use university recommendation letter. Now this is one thing I observed. I observed that some people use highly reputable institution like international institution. Why some people they use that alone, just that alone. Why some people combined the university, the NGO and also that of a reputable institution. Why some people just combined the NGO and the university together. So the thing is that if you know that you are not you don't have recommendation, maybe probably you don't work for like a reputable institution like that. Maybe you don't have work experience or you don't have any voluntary experiences with that particular institution. You could look for a lecturer in your university. It could be your HOD, it could be your let's say supervisor but make sure the thing is that there's a way the recommendation letter should be drafted you should have the letter heading of probably the university you understand or the institution or the NGO so if it has the letter headed body it shows the how prestigious is the organization so if you can get the three and combine or the two and combine yeah, the thing is that, you know, you can just combine like online, combine PDF or combine doc, something like that. Yeah, it's very easy to do and just upload it like one recommendation letter. You understand what I mean? Yeah, so somebody who is your HOD can provide that, your VC or somebody in your sentence can provide that, your lecturer or your supervisor can also provide it. Now for the third one. Um, the person asked that any other tips which I know, which I, which I can share, which the person can also use to apply for the scholarship. The main thing which I would advise everyone of us to emphasize on is the recommendation letter. Make sure it is repeatable. Yeah, think for, think of like probably if possible international organization or organization that is quite prestigious and even if it is university that you have if you don't have I know someone that combined university and NGO you understand make sure that what um, they, they write there read it make sure it's something that is making sense and then the grade so matters but the thing is that many people with um, if you have, you have four points let's say your uh, um, the overall of your GPA is 5 and you have like 4 points above like that then you should be rest assured that okay you are quite likely to get a scholarship you understand so those are the basic thing because on the form there's no special thing else to fill there it's just your recommendation that later and your grade which is being considered you understand now the thing is that um, you should also make sure that you choose English studies and then after applying for the scholarship make sure that you look for schools to apply for your admission this winter section so that immediately the result comes out you just resume and the thing is that the scholarship is also eligible for summer semester but don't risk it for summer semester because sometimes they will cancel some courses and you know if you don't get admission the scholarship is just wasted like that so presently now we are in the second semester which is the summer semester which is going to end probably let's say let's say March, April, May, June. let's say in June but around uh, May June some universities will open their portal so you can apply for admission separately some will require that you pay for admission admission fee and if the scholarship result is out before then there might be waivers for the application fee i hope this is clear if you have further questions or further you need to make further clarifications you can drop it in the comment section and if you message me and i don't reply quite quickly i'm so sorry about that i have a lot on my plate yeah I hope this video is quite helpful.
thanks so much for your attention and I'm also going to join to this video the screen recording on how to apply for it so after I stop this you would see the screen recording of how to apply for it so thank you until next time bye hello so hello everyone so this is the page for the application i'm going to drop the link in the description box of this video now the thing is that when you click on the link sometimes it might show polish so just in case you can right click and translate to english or you could just click on this so English straight up so it depends on how your computer is being navigated I hope you understand now we need to scroll down we can see the regulations written here so if your country happens to be here then you can apply now this is the way to navigate through to apply. Click on the call for proposals. Yeah, then scroll down. You can see here method of submitting the application. And this is it. You can see the deadline is on the 31st and that is 3 pm. Please don't get it twisted. I don't think it's like 12 pm, 12 pm or something. Yeah, that's 3 p.m. or probably 11.59 p.m. Yeah, it's in the meeting. So, click on the fill in the application. And be careful, it's just one in which you can make. So now, you need to create an account because I have an account already, is it? So it's going to show through and I can log in. But since you're applying for the first time, you have to create an account, and if you have an account, then you have to just um, do it. So now you go to, because I've applied for this, that's why I can see my page now. So you navigate through to the program, and you can see the program, which is how to call for proposal to one program, and this is it, Stefan Banner. So you click on fill out form. So because I've done it before and I've applied, um, it's going to destabilize my own page. Yeah. So I can't. But I think with this, you can know how to navigate through and just apply for this. You know. I hope this is well explanatory. I will also try to make like a video of how to fill the form on and what is expected. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is a brief PowerPoint which I prepared for this application. It's just a brief one. If you want to navigate to the website, this is it. And now the application is open now, March, and it's going to close in 31st. And these are like the, you know, the range of the quantity of applicants which they are going to get for each country is basically like this so for Nigeria it's like 20% yeah and the basic requirements your transcript your degree certificate recommendation letter your passport and for those who don't have passport you can omit it later I hope your passport will be out before the announcement they can contact you after the first stage you know the application is in stages yeah they can contact you to submit your passport i hope it will be ready before then then you need like medium of instruction for those who don't have like maybe high health or tofu yeah so you can go to your university and tell them to give you medium of instruction yeah your university can give you that so it's just like a sheet of paper attesting that okay probably you did gns or you studied in english such kind of a thing 
kind of you're wasting your money on IELTS or TOEFL. You understand? And this is the slide for the grading system, the CGPA counts, and the recommendation letter. And these are things that your recommendation letter should contain. You can screenshot this from the video and probably send to whomsoever you might want to use as your referee. Yeah, basically. So your character, academic character, research experiences, why you want to join the master's program, the, your leadership qualities, ability as a person, personalities, what makes you stand out, and probably research that you've conducted. Yeah, so this is the next website. So like I've said before, it's, you should apply for like STEM related courses and you are going to be getting a monthly stipend of 1500 although when you arrive they, will, they are going to give you like 500 PLN for like settlements you know yeah also now this is what you're going to do like I've said the admission is different from the university of choice so now you can go to study.gov.pl to search for probably a course or university because in the application form they might tell you okay fill those parts like that so you can also this is also the um scholarship website nava.gov.pl like that yeah and then don't wait the deadline submit very early yeah and then when you're looking for admission you know after you've been issued the scholarship they are going to like request for your admission letter so that they can process your name and everything like that so you can start your visa processing and all so it's basically like that the next slide now this is a brief you know i told you like if you're applying for admission you could go to study.gov.pl and you could probably if you're like oh where do i start from as i know the course which i'm going to do probably you don't have an idea of what to do so you can go there this is the way like the website looks like so you can type okay what's um definitely we are applying for master's program so you click on the arrow and you just search for it which university and the semester which they are offering it the summer or for the winter semester yeah and for those who don't know the differentiation between the semesters the winter semester is basically from uh, october yeah why the summer one is the one starting in february march yeah i hope it's quite clear like that uh, basically okay for more info you can send to my email or connect on linkedin or just drop your comment down in this video so thank you and also i'm going to show like how the form looks like so that it should be quite explanatory okay now this is a brief explanation of also what is in the call for proposal and probably if you need the information you can just screenshot it from this video like I said before the document which you need actually this was for the previous one like you can see research proposal but for now you don't need it it's just a recommendation later and then now see the grade which the way the grade is being pointed out waypoints are being allocated to it but now it's different because doing our own set they use like research proposal and grade but now it's recommendation later and grade so we can just like imagine how it could turn out to be now this is the application form this is something how it looks like uh, definitely when you are filling yours it's better you change it to english this is in polish but basically this is like um, your name your surname your your Sex is it Kobieta female, Machisna male, then data Eugenia, that's date of birth, your city where you were given birth to the make sure it's the one on your passport, then the name of your father 1.6, 1.7 name of your mother, then your nationality 1.8, then whether you have um, Poland citizenship, that's near, that's no, then the number of your passport, then the name the date on it then the address then your telephone number your address then many people usually look for this 1.15 please take notes Oof, let me zoom it in. Sadly. 
Oh, yeah, it is um, Ambassador. This is Ambassador RPV Abuji. That is um, Abuja. Abuja. So when you are filling it, I don't think it's in English because many people usually ask. It's this the option which you should choose. Then this one name and address of the place you understand where you are and your telephone number your email like that then this is your field of study your university which you intend to study in so you could just go through the study.gov.pl and pick the one which you are going to study it. so this um simovi is winter and lightning is summer section and what do you want to study in english and if you also want to study in polish probably you want to go through the polish course and how you can put the polish there yeah now this is um your education your formal education what you've done before so this is the name of the university this is mine this is my own form so i just do something like that to just um, improvise basically the form is still like the same thing the only thing that changes is that you are uploading recommendation letter instead of research proposal. Yeah, basically. So this is it. This is the name. This is the place of your university, the course which you are doing, and also if it's um, diploma. And then those that um, did HND, some of them are saying yes, you can also apply if you did HND. Yes. So basically, you also write the scale and the. Uh, and your CGPA, if it's 7.0, I know some people use 7.0, you can put it there. Then uh, this one is talking about your other language which you know, probably your native language is your um, native language. So I pick Yoruba, and if you study, what will you study in Poland, in English, like that, what's your English level? So take it, and then your medium of instruction what you want to upload for proof so i put medium of instruction there then if you know polish language if you know and you have to skip probably you could just upload it okay so um this form is um, the one so it's the one for my friend who applied this part of the form so basically this is a place where they are going to ask about your study, what you, why you want to study a particular course like that. So this person gave like explanation on what she intends to do. You understand like that. Basically, you just put everything. Then you just make sure it's making sense. It's on point. It's more of like motivation letter and all like that. You understand basically so this is for your passport the thing is that it's going to be in english you can translate to english because this is printed out already in polish yeah so you um, download your that you upload your certificate this is for documents your uh, method medium of instruction your recommendation letter everything like that so and accept accept the terms and conditions like that like that like that like that like that so this is all so for more information you can just type that in the comment section i hope this is clear